and welcome to the Doodle for Google National Ceremony. We had more than 33,000 doodles in our theme, If I Could Do Anything, I Would. A panel of independent and expert judges helped us to get to the top 40 of all of you. We went and met most of you in your hometowns with our D40G held in schools last week. We're going to begin with a panel of some of our expert judges. Andy, I have to imagine that you see really amazing designs at Disney every day. For Disney to be connected to this is a great thing. It's, we are all about entertainment for children. There's a freedom and a beauty, almost a folk art quality to a lot of the drawings that I saw. It's hard to believe these kids can draw as well as they can at the age they are. Playtime really leads to a lot of creativity, and creativity and innovation are really what's central to Sesame Street. More about you know literacy and numeracy, but we're also about all of the other aspects of being a kid. I think um, that was really reflected in a lot of the entries. Your best idea is not gonna be the first thing you think of. So you wanna have a scratch pad so you can kind of work up to the idea that ends up being something you actually ink. It all takes practice and art is no different. Um, you really have to practice your craft to get better at it. Karen, how would you answer the question, if I could do anything, I would? I actually brought along someone from Sesame Street who might be able to answer that question a little bit better than I can. Elmo. I would think this is the coolest amusement park Elmo has ever seen. Elmo, this isn't an amusement park. This is our office. <laughs> Get out of town. Mm -hmm. Oh, Elmo was so surprised. They're so talented. Art education is so important for children's growth and to approach problem solving in a very creative way. When all their friends are outside playing, the finalists took a chance in creating their own artwork throughout their future. They'll have more doors open and I think a lot of good things will happen. We want to recognize the national finalists. In the category of fourth through sixth grade, Raymond Marquez from Eagle Pass, Texas. For the grade seven through nine category, Vince Vigiano from Long Valley, New Jersey. Bevan Shifley from Highlands, North Carolina. And our national winner for this year's competition is Mackenzie Melton, <laughs> who's nine years old from Alvarado, Missouri. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Our mission at Cooper Hewitt is to get design into the K through 12 classroom and for teachers to see that it's something that can help kids connect to 21st century skills. We think of children as being the most important group because they'll grow up to enjoy designing or be aware of design or become designers. Doodle for Google is a fabulous way to bring it to more people. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Melton, and my doodle will be on the Google homepage for one day. It'll be awesome. <laughs> 